Ma'adin and the PIF to mine for assets globally. And Meta expected to be the best performer of 2023. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Farage. Saudi's Ma'adin is forming a JV with the Public Investment Fund to invest in mining assets globally. The GCC's largest miner will own 51 percent and the PIF will own 49 percent. Ma'adin says its strategy is to invest in iron ore, copper, nickel and lithium sectors. In a separate statement, Ma'adin also said it's acquiring a 9.9 percent stake in American minerals exploration and development firm Ivanhoe Electric. They're forming a separate JV to explore and develop mining projects in Saudi. Meta is expected to be the best performing mega cap stock this year. That's according to a JP Morgan survey of investors. The survey reveals 41% of respondents expect Meta to perform the best this year, followed by Amazon.com at 36% and Netflix at 14%. However, 24% of respondents said Netflix would be the worst performer, tied with Alphabet also at 24%. Last year, Meta crashed 64%, Amazon plunged 50%, and Netflix lost 51 percent. Most Asian equities pushed higher today as investors were encouraged by China's reopening and optimism that key data due this week will signal a further slowdown in U.S. inflation. Traders brushed off fresh warnings that the Federal Reserve rates will continue to rise and the World Bank decision to slash its global growth forecast to 1.7 percent. China's reopening, the easing of Beijing's tech crackdown, and moves to help the property sector have raised hopes for the country, a key driver of world growth. Airbus kept its crown as the world's largest plane maker for the fourth year in a row. Its deliveries rose 8% last year despite supply chain issues. The French company says it delivered 663 jets. It also won 1,078 jet orders during the year. Boeing didn't fare as well as Airbus. The U.S. firm is still recovering from the safety crisis over at 737 MAX and felt industrial issues on its 787. It posted deliveries of 480 planes. Ahead of its Davos meeting next week, the World Economic Forum warned today that the cost of living crisis will be the biggest global risk. It says conflict and geoeconomic tensions have triggered a series of deeply interconnected global risks which are likely to persist for the next two years. It says while the cost of living crisis is the biggest short-term risk by 2025, it's followed by natural disasters, extreme weather events and geoeconomic confrontation. The short-term risk landscape is dominated by energy, food, debt and disasters. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes real-time billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest winner today is Jeff Bezos, up $2.5 billion with net wealth of $113.1 billion. Our second biggest winner today is LVMH's Bernard Arnault, up $2.3 billion with net wealth of $203.3 billion. And our third place winner is Japanese Sensors billionaire Takemitsu Takizaki, up $1.2 billion with net wealth of $19.7 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. And staying with billionaires, LVMH announced a leadership reshuffle today, naming a new CEO at its flagship brand Louis Vuitton and appointing the daughter of billionaire boss Bernard Arnault atop Christian Dior Couture. The shakeup at LVMH's two leading fashion houses comes as Arnaud's family fortune has soared to new heights. Arnaud and family overtook Elon Musk as the world's top billionaires late last year. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.